Hello guys and girls in YouTube land. My name is Adam. Welcome to another edition of Mix Tips. Uh, today we're going to do something very exciting and that is we're going to take some recordings, some music that was recorded a quarter of a century ago, 25 years ago, on tape. And we're going to take those tracks and we're going to take them into Harrison Mix Bus DAW and remix and remaster them. I was talking to my good friend Rob Brown last week and he had a recording studio back in the mid-1990s in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania uh, where he had recorded a bunch of his original music that he composed and we were talking about it and how he would love to have today's technology to remix and remaster those tracks that he did back in the 90s and I said well if you have still have the tape machines we can bring them over to One Nine Studios and take everything into Harrison DAW and remix it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this record, Rob Brown, the man of the house. Okay, this was this was done in 1997. This was released in 97, and all of it was recorded on these beautiful machines that we all had in the 1990s. Uh, so for those of you that might not be as old as me. Um, going back to the 1990s, um, com computer power was not great in the 90s. Um, I remember my first computer was a, uh, a Mac, Power Mac G3. Um, it could do 12 tracks, and after 12 tracks it would, it, it would crash. I just couldn't get any more than that out of it. So, it's not like today's computers where you have limitless amounts of tracks based on your computer setup. So at that time, uh, in the mid-90s, it was also a time of switching from analog to digital. Um, this was the digital answer of the 1990s. Okay, um, These are Alesis Blackface ADATs, the 16-bit version. They were the first version to come out. Um, these are the actual units from Rob's studio in Bloomsburg that he's had in storage for the last two decades. Um, how these units worked is they used re uh, super VHS tape to record. As you can see, this is Radio Shack, Radio Shack's finest back in the day. Um, not regular VHS tape. In the 90s, there was a new transport called Super VHS, and it was a lot more high quality than regular VHS. Um, it records like a regular VCR, but on this tape, on this tape, you would get eight tracks of audio, just like an eight-track recorder. And if you linked these machines together, you'd have eight tracks, 16 tracks. If you had another one, you'd have 24 tracks. In Rob's case, he had a 16-track studio. So this CD was recorded on these VHS tapes, all of them right here. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get these old machines going. And I'm going to show you how to hook these up to our X32 interface and play these old tracks if we can get them to play and bring them into Harrison Mix Bus and we can remix every track. Every track will be isolated, the drums, the guitars, everything will be isolated and we can remix it and remaster it to today's standards. Stick around. Okay, to give you guys a little bit of a closer look of the Alesis ADAT units. Um, like I said before, these were mid-90s um, devices. I've owned a lot of these. Um, there were different models that came out. This was the first version. This was the 16-bit version. There was a 20-bit version called the ADAT XT, a little bit higher quality. It was a silver face. That one came out later. Um, I honestly preferred the 16-bit version. These worked really well in the 90s to record. Um, like I said, we're going to be uh, playing back SVHS tracks, which each one of these tapes has eight tracks on them. Um, what I found is I've already hooked this up. Um, this top unit here, the heads are having some problems, um, so we're not going to be able to play all 16 tracks back at one time. Um, this unit is working good. We're going to bring in the tapes in different sections and then we'll sync them up in Mixbus later. Okay, so just like a v, just like a VCR, these tapes go in like this, and once it loads, you're going to see our control track here. Which people that are in the video world, there's always a control track layer that uh, timestamps the tape, so you know where you're at. I'm going to hit play. Okay, and to give you an idea here, so here's each track. There are eight tracks on this recording, and they are all playing. And this recorder has eight quarter-inch outputs. Okay, um, they were all quarter inch back then. Um, so what we're going to need to do is, because our X32 preamps are all XLR, we're going to use eight direct boxes. 
we're going to quarter inch out of the unit into here, out of the direct box, into the X32 interface, and then we're going to bring it in to Harrison Mix Bus. Okay guys, looking at Harrison Mix Bus here, I'm going to show you how to set this up. Once you have your, um, your, your tape machine hooked up to your interface, um, I'm going to select the channels um, that I have it hooked to. So in my case, I have it hooked to inputs 25 through 32. So I selected 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Eight tracks in Mix Bus, and I saved that as a template because we're going to use that template for every song coming in. Uh, there's, I think there's 12 songs on the record, something like that. Um, so, and then we're going to enable record on each channel, enable the master record. Um, I've also listened to each track already, so I've labeled what tracks are what, so we know once we bring it in. And then because we have eight mix buses, I've also assigned each track to its own mix bus that we can use to mix down, um, mix down this particular song, which has only eight tracks in it. <laughs> Okay, so right now we're recording. That's the tape machine playing, and we're recording everything into Mix Bus. It's recording, see each track is independent. Okay, so now we have everything in Mix Bus. Uh, the whole song is in. I'm going to take recording feature off and we're going to listen to this back and you'll see that each track is isolated just like it was on the tape. So on this, there was lead guitar on this track, bass guitar is on track six, rhythm guitar, the drums were already submixed on track eight because probably back then in the 90s they needed to bounce those tracks together to save tracks. Um, so the drums are together. We've got lead vocal down here on track two. Okay, so now that we have all the isolated tracks in Mix Bus, uh, we're going to bring the whole album into Mix Bus and we're going to mix each song over from scratch because remember these tracks which we consider to be the audio stems, come right off of the tape and they have no EQ, no effects, because this was before it was mixed down. So we have all the raw tracks off of the tape and we're going to remix the whole record, um, might re-record re the lead vocals, um, but when it's done, it'll be mastered to today's standards. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Mixed Tips. If you like my channel, please subscribe below. Uh, we got a lot of fun, exciting videos coming up. Um, Today was an amazing project. It's amazing that we can take recordings that were done 25 years ago, a quarter of a century ago, and bring them back to life and remix them and remaster them. Um, I'd like to thank my friend Rob Brown for providing the music uh, for this episode. And I'm going to let you meet him uh, when he comes back to the studio to help me start mixing this. Again, please subscribe. Have a great day.